Okay, just um, bear with me one moment. I check I'm in the right place. Okay, hi. Um, I've decided to do it the live in my page today rather than going and trying to um, join on one of my groups because for some reason, I don't know, Facebook has these glitches every now and again and it's um, preventing me from being my page in my group. So um, I've come on here, I'll do the live here and then um, I will post it over in the groups anyway. Okay, so um, there's been an update on the demonstrator website today about the pricing in the um, last chance list. Um, some of it's wrong, apparently. It's now been updated, but I've not up not seen, um, I've not compared the list that I sent out with the new list. So I honestly don't know how many pricing price differences there were, whether they were um, more expensive or whether they've gone down or, or what, I don't know. Um, but the prices on the system, on the actual ordering site, will be correct. So, you know, any doubts, just check on there. Um, so there's some really nice stuff that will be retiring and therefore um, on sale. Some of it will continue um, and maybe go over into online exclusives or they could appear in the new annual catalogue next May. <laughs> Had to think then. Um, but yeah, so just seems really quick. I know it's this has been like the first year where we've had the minis for only a four month period instead of a six month period. So it just seems really quick to me to to um, be saying goodbye to some of the stuff. And um, yeah, it's a bit sad because I'm not ready for Christmas. I could do with it being about September still and, uh, you know, getting um, just getting started, really. OK, but some exciting news I have had this week um, landed on my on my doorstep, on my doormat. The new I can't show you the insides, obviously, yet, but the new um, mini catalogue for January to April and the celebration, which will run um, January and February. So there's some really nice stuff in there that you can earn for free. Um, we all like three things, don't we? So it's uh, you know great time January and February to you know, maybe spend that Christmas money that you've you've been given. You didn't know what you wanted. Um, there's some stamp sets that go with some of the stuff in the um, mini catalogue. There's also pattern paper that matches um, stuff out of the mini catalogue. There's yeah, there's some there's a, some really nice items. Um, there's also a joining offer. Um, so there's two joining offers. In fact, there's one where you can um, you get a it's a stamping glass mat studio. So it's got a glass mat which is heavy duty safety tempered glass um, for crafting on it's so you can you know, wipe it clean easily um, it's heat and scratch resistant so that's great um, and it comes with a cleaning cloth so it's a bit like the chamois that we've got but but thinner so it's easy easy to wipe clean on that and a silicon mat that has like um, a paint palette type bit and a grippy bit on. Um, so you could put your ink pads on there. It's got some little squares where 
um, the little ink dots like out of or ink spots like out of the um, there are some in the annual catalogue or the ones that we get in the kit collection. Um, they fit in really well into the little squares. That's what they're designed. For, it's designed for. So that's a really nice, nice item that you could get. Or you can have um, an extra thirty pounds worth of free products. So there's there'll be two joining offers, and I'll put more information on that um, in the coming months. So um, I have got a couple of couple of things out of the new catalogue already I have placed an order and I'm waiting for that to arrive but I have got a couple of things I can show you just let me find the other set um one of them was a kit that we had for our on stage at home and it's a really cute set. It's it's a Valentine's set, but it can be used um, can be used just for like you know anything really. It has got Valentine's in it, and there is um, it is quite hearts and flowers and stuff on the paper and that but it can be used could be used for birthdays could probably use on mother's day um you know if there's someone that likes bees you know then it's really cute it's um it's a, a punch and stamp set and it's um it's dsp ribbon um some little flowers and heart embellishments and there's some square pillow boxes that come with it so the suite itself is 71 pounds for the whole lot what i'll do is turn the camera around and i'll show you those bits just quickly um the set we're actually going to use today just to do a bit of um, crafting card making with is also in there and there's a celebration stamp set that also matches it, so that'd be really good. Okay, so bear with me and I will turn the camera around. I'm hoping, it's gone really grey here today, so I'm hoping I'm not going to get too much shadow from the lights. But, um, okay, so these are the cards that we, we made um The on stage thing they were basically a craft along so um there was a demonstration of them and we crafted along at the same time it shows you some of the lovely designer paper and some of the stamps as well so you say we've got the punch which obviously there's two hearts there and that could be used as a speech bubble even, but it, it builds a bumblebee, um, as you can see on here. This is the body. Okay, so the body, the wings, is the big heart and the antennae go into the small heart. Okay, so that's really cool. And I, I love the punch sets because they're, you don't have to have a stamp and cut machine. They're so easy and they're, you know, they're a lot cheaper on the bundles. But this is the lovely stamp set. So it's got hearts, it's got the wings, it's got some honeycomb. And then this is really cute. There's lots of different little faces for the bee. Um, there's the antennas and then there's, obviously there's, you know, the valentines. But I mean, these, you know, you could use these for anniversary cards just simply a um, birthday card for someone that you love you know um, so that's it's really great and there's some nice little leaves and flowers as well so that's the stamp set I'll just show you quickly the 
oops, the papers because these are really pretty as well so there's obviously this is more valentine's -y, but then you've got the yellow plaid you've got the um honeycomb and then that's the bees with the flowers some nice stripes and some little flowers okay so this is a flowery background on one of the cards we used and then on the other side it's got these lovely bees with flowers and hearts on one side this one and buzzing buzzing bees and some hearts on that one so that's those two and then this one is like the lines which you've got a stamp that matches that and this one which is like honey pots so that's really cute and there's um an online exclusive set that's i think it's called furious friends and it's got a bear in it and you know that would go great with with that as well because it's you know bees and bears so that's the patterned paper and the punch this is this is the um little embellishments so as you can see you've got flowers and hearts in different sizes and different colors so they're really cute and this is the pillow boxes so they they're quite a good size um yeah they're about two and a half two and a half inches square when they're made up and that's that's quite deep what's that about inch and a inch inch and three quarters deep so i haven't made one up yet but i think they would hold quite a bit you know quite a nice little gift in those so so that's that set and the one we're going to be using today is the heartfelt hexagon again it's a stamp set and punch and um, it's got lots on here so it's got mr and mrs so great for weddings sympathy cards if you want to make cards that's so you know just letting people know that you're thinking of them if they're having a bit of a tough time let's eat cake we all need cards that say let's eat cake don't we a nice invite to go out and eat cake and then um i hope your birth your day is filled with joy so that could be on a wedding card could be on a birthday card um any sort of celebration really and then we've got two outlines and a heart and some flowers and leaves and that's a pretty little i guess that would go in the corners so it's photopolymer and the case is all marked up for you to be able to put your stamps on there um which i haven't done yet but they just peel off and stick on the relevant marked bit so that's really easy for making sure you've got all your stamps and then this bit of acetate can be used um as a you know as a window sheet for doing um shaker cards or if you're doing floating um balloons or something and you want to make it want it to look as though it's floating so never chuck this bit away because it's all it'll come in handy and if you need bigger bits then obviously we do sell the um, window sheets in 12 by 12 
um, but you know you may as well use use these up rather than throwing them away okay so I've not decided what stamps we're going to use yet but the first card I've sort of oh and forgot about this this is the ribbon for the be mine sweet so it's in sweet sorbet and white so that's really pretty okay so going back to ooh, the first card it's going to make now i've had all this laid out so that i make sure i've got the right number of bits and it's all moved now so um hopefully i'll get it back in the right places um somewhere I seem to have mislaid my silicon mat, so never mind. I shall just I shall just start gluing and try not to get glue everywhere. So as you can see, I've used the um, countryside in designer series paper. And this is, I'm going to check that one out because I'm sure that one must be empty now. Um, this is in the annual catalogue. And I've just punched out a load of um load of hexagons using the using the punch in the various different patterned papers and all I'm going all I'm doing is placing these down with just a small small gap between them as you can see it's only got a very very small gap um, and then this is why I needed the silicon mat because some of them are going to be overhanging and uh, I didn't want to get glue onto here because it'll the card will stick so I'm just going to make sure that I've not put too much glue on and it is literally just going round I did a similar type of thing with the um oh tailor made tag when that was in and yeah you can You can do this with any any patterned paper. See, I've done it it's different now, so I've moved it all, so it's not gonna. We're gonna have to punch out some other bits. Bear with me. Let me find. Find my my paper. I kept some of this one out, but obviously not. Oops. Okay, I think this is really pretty paper. This one, I'm not. Normal, I wouldn't normally go for something quite so single coloured because all the blues, but it is very nice and I like the cute animals. There's a little fox on that one, so I'm going to pop that there where I can see the fox.
Right, so now I've got bits that I just want to be able to fill in the gap. I'm going to have to cut out another piece. I just see they only... Some of the bits get very small, so I did cut them out first, but... Um... Having moved it all without keeping it in exactly the right place, it's uh, it's gone a bit offline, but it's not a problem. And you just fill in the little gaps around the edges, trying to keep that white bit the same. same distance roughly apart it's all done by eye rather than uh, rather than measuring but unlike everything it doesn't have to be perfect because it's handmade right let's uh, pop that bit on there so I'm just going to let that dry a moment before doing the next bit with that so I'll just pop that out the way make sure that dries and I'm going to fit I'm going to use the sending you lots of Love and hugs, so and I want one of these. This one, I think. So I've just put them on the on the mat so that they um, they form their original shape. Because when you pull them off, you can pull them out of shape. But you can also see some of them. You'd be able to bend round and form a more curved shape okay um for this one i think i'm going to use misty moonlight and i've got my foam mat of them being photopolymer okay so that's one of the borders so that one's more of a filled in rather the the other ones um just like dots around the outside okay just and then this one fits in the middle okay. and then just stamp it out let me before I do anything else I'm just going to cover that back up so that we don't get ink everywhere Okay, so this now can be cut down um, to the right size. So you could, if you haven't gone too far over with glue, you could put it on your trimmer and cut it back down. I find it just easier using a pair of scissors. I'm just going 
just snipping those off. All the way round. Those larger bits you can keep and use on another card doing this if you were doing more than one of these. Okay, so when you've cut it down, it actually looks a lot different and you get the get the proper effect. Okay, so I've got a number of different I've got some white bases and some night of navy and this is the misty moonlight, so I think I'll put it on the misty moonlight. And just um just thinking about twine i might I might don't know what i'm going to put it on really um just we have a think what have we got what we've got this is still the linen thread is still current, so we could use that. Um, let's have a look, let's see what... I did sort out all the current ones, but I just want to double check before I pick something up. Just in case. Yeah, so the linen thread is still current. Um, and I've got some mm, Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the linen thread out of all the ones I've got just to just to add, you know, just for the sake of adding a bit of thread really. So I'm going to put it up near the top and put my little glue dot down. And um, I'll just hold that in place. Another glue dot on the other side. And then just spread those out a bit. Okay, then I can stick this on to the base and then I'm going to put that on dimensionals. thought it, today I'd do a different, um, didn't want to do another Christmas card. Um, now we're in, heading towards the end of November. I can't believe I quit this month's gone as well. I thought I'd do, do some, revisit something from the annual catalogue in the uh, form of the DSP. And have a look at the new something that's going to be new and coming out i think this this was actually released for world card making day um which is why i've ended up with it early i'm just going to pop that on there and then we could add some
some little gems just to give it a bit of bling. These basic rhinestones are really good for if you want to colour them with um, with the blends. There, just a little bit of bling. Yeah, so you can colour these with, with the blends, um, the alcohol pens in the same colour if you wanted to. I've done that before now. And then um, just leave them to dry for a, a minute or two. And then pop them on your card. Okay, so that's the first card. Um, it's the only card that I've planned. So the next one, I'm, I am going to stick with using this DSP for the time being. Um, and I'm going to use a white card base. bring my trimmer in and I think I'm going to do a something on night of navy so this I need to cut this down this way so I'm just going to do a I might even cut it down a little bit more I just think that's a bit too bulky so that's a two and a half strip inch strip and it will go across there just make sure it's the right length this way And then I just want a piece of I have a piece of this one I think so as I say that's two and a half inches so I'm going to do a strip that's two and a quarter and again a full five and three quarter strip that way so you just get a border there on each side On there let's move that out the way for the moment so you can either put that in the middle or you could put it to either side um, now I haven't tried I haven't used any more of this yet, so I'm going to put that one there. And um, I think I might make sympathy card it's not something that I like making really I don't think any any of us do we prefer our cards to be 
nice and happy and cheerful cards but um, sometimes sometimes there's a need for sympathy cards as well so this is the dotted border i'm going to just do it in knight of navy and then i will bring my mat back in for my words I am aware you didn't see that stamping, but I've stamped it. So, I mean, it's a really nice, really nice font. Um, I suppose this is one of the nice things about this set is that there's So I'm just trying to line it up. Um, there's different fonts. They're not all the same, so it's it gives a bit of varied. God, my uh... I couldn't have. <sighs> Right, that's better. I couldn't see then properly to line that up. Okay, so what I would do next is just literally decide by moving it about whether I want it in the middle, that over the top, whether I wanted it to one side. I think I'm going to do it to one side. And just stick that bit there. And again, pop a few um, few dimensionals on. And just place that there now i don't normally put bling or much bling anyway too much bling on um sympathy card but i think just just for this space i've got a hair trapped on that one just for this space here i'm just going to pop those there just okay so that's the second card um i'm not sure how long i've been but i'm just going to make one more one more card and I think I'm going to just do some stamping first of all. Again, I'll do it in this um, Knight of Navy because the other thing you can do is use the stamp up this way. Just pop that there when I get a block. There's another block. So you then sort of, you know, it gives you another um, 
another effect that's not very well lined up is it how rubbish was that we'll do it again Again, as you can see, another a different font again, just to give that difference in appearance. Hand must have shaped a bit. Just trying to. God, it's silly isn't it on camera it's always the way this all <laughs> it's normally so easy to to line up and I just moved it then with my finger there you go look that's better so Let's get rid of the ink before I make any other mess. And this is a Knight of Navy card blank. I'm going to bring in my my um yeah trimmer that's what it is and i'm just gonna cut down some so i'm just just thinking the measurements that i want Do it. Do it this way first of all and get rid of some of this. Get rid of some of this excess out of the way. And then I want um three pieces one at one and a quarter i think this is the right measurement off the top of my head and, um hang on bear with me it's not one and a quarter it's you get one and a one and a quarter, two and a half, three and a half. Hmm. I only made one of these the other day and I still can't remember the measurements that I put in. <laughs> Bear with me while I measure it. This is the card that I made the other day. Um, one and a quarter, one. Right, so it should work. One and a quarter, one inch and one and a quarter. And you need to keep it in the direction that you've cut it. And then this one is five and a half. By three and three quarters so then when you put these on actually i've not put it onto a card base so this might still might not work might need to adjust it, it should possibly be okay 
yeah that's fine actually just don't end up with a, a white board around the other side but that's fine it's top to bottom on each side Okay, so um, I'm going to be able to order the new catalogues soon, um, beginning of December. So if you like a catalogue, either you can request one online or just drop me a message either on here or a private Facebook message and um, and I can sort out once they've arrived I can sort out getting those out to you and there's some really nice stuff in there as usual I don't think I'm ever dis disappointed with um with what they what they um, produce, it's uh, I sometimes wish they would. I'm going to use this. This is um, what is this? Starry sky. So it's not an exact match, but it's um, it's fine for this. I just find my scissors. Um, yeah, I think my bank balance would hope that. They didn't didn't produce quite so much nice stuff all the time, but hey ho. I'm gonna pop a long strip of this on there just so that I can. hold this in place and cut that down in a moment and then pop a couple more dimensionals on And as I'm using these, I'll carry on using basic rhinestones and I'm going to pop one there. These are the medium size. Don't want it. Right in line, this one's got um, some little birds on it, this piece, so. so there we go. So, that's, um, that's the three cards using the Hot Felt Hexagonal set and the Countryside in designer series paper. Um, yeah, quite happy with how they've turned out as I hadn't planned these two at all. Um, it's been a bit of a rush today because I've had um, other things on this morning and I've got uh, AGM for the school's PSA this evening, so it's all a bit hectic. 
anyway um thanks for watching and um i'll see you again soon take care